And with that, let's welcome out the 155-pound fighters. First up, Justin Davis. We're transitioning into our professional bouts, and this is their first professional fight of the night. We have Justin Davis approaching the cage. Justin Davis inside the cage. His opponent is Drew Davis. And here is Drew Davis. Two Davis. As Drew makes his These two fighters, very early in their professional career, in the blue corner. He's 34 years old and fights for Dark Horse MMA out of San Jose. Fighting in just his second professional MMA fight, Justin Showoff Davis. And in the red corner, facing off against him is 26 year old. Fighting out of the Dragon House in San Francisco. Fighting in his professional MMA debut fight. Here's the Hollywood Kid, Drew Davis. Your referee for this fight is Ed Colantes. Here we go. For the first time on our professional card tonight, ladies and gentlemen, there are three men remaining in the cage, the third of whom is referee Ed Colantes. Drew Davis and Justin Davis, no relation whatsoever, but I'll tell you, Kevin, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of both of these fighters is showman. Nice body kick from Drew, and then Justin being the aggressor. Drew Davis born and raised in Hollywood, California. His opponent, Justin Davis, fighting out of San Jose. Significant height difference. Drew Davis just about 6'1". His opponent just about 5'9". For the first time in his career, Drew Davis experiencing a five-minute round. And it is the second time his opponent is doing just that. There is significantly more time for the feeling out process. They do not have to get to work as quickly. And Drew Davis looking for a big head kick, barely connects, although nice, not that overhand right. to do any significant And then Justin damage. Davis returns with that straight left to the body. Big low leg kick lands and is heard from nice Justin straight. Davis. Davis doing an excellent job of keeping that jab busy and utilizing that long reach. Drew Davis in the black trunks with orange trim and the black gloves. His opponent, Justin Davis, in the pink and black shorts. Black nice inside kick gloves. there by Drew. Drew's doing a good job at being patient and just picking his shots. Drew Davis coached by Zong Lo. His cornermen tonight are David Solorzano, Marcus Gaines, and Juma Muhammad, all three of whom are professional fighters. Across the cage, Justin Davis cornered by Luis Lightyear Vargas, a veteran of many professional MMA organizations. Davis narrowly avoids a big overhand shot from his opponent. 
And Drew returns with that straight. Oh, oh nice head big kick. head oh. kick. Drew goes down, waves it off, and is going to look to return with some strikes of his own here. Just in the south by trying to figure out how to close the distance with a tall, lankier opponent. What Justin Davis lacks in height, he certainly makes up for in strength and physicality. One of the physically stronger 155 pounders that we have seen here tonight. And he does an excellent job defending the takedown attempted by Drew Davis. This world nice class shape. lightweight fight is brought to you by MMA Raw and ExecuShield.com. MMA Raw, the finest sports photography in the Bay Area. ExecuShield has got your back for all your security needs. And the stream you are watching live is made possible, of course, by BrightPathVideo.com. The best live streaming services in San Francisco. Plain and simple. Nice inside kick by Drew. Both fighters doing an incredible job keeping their composure. They've both taken quite a few hard shots, and they are calm, cool, and collected. Looking to be the next one to land. Yet another huge leg kick lands by Justin Davis. Oh, nice head, head kick by Drew. and a knockdown for Justin Davis. Justin Davis does not seem to want to be on the ground with his opponent, Drew Davis. A knife who poke. is poked in the eye. Referee Ed Colantes is going to put a temporary stop to the action in the final 10 seconds of the first round. Quick touch of the gloves and the last 10 seconds are underway, although they are nearly complete. And the first round of a possible three comes to a close. First round was just the feeling out process. Could not agree more. It is definitely hard to determine who won that round. Drew Davis did fall down a couple times. One of them may have been legitimate, the other uh, being the first. Uh, in my opinion, he just slipped. Drew definitely landed the harder kicks. Some of the harder shots uh, with the hands came from Justin Davis. Although it was a very evenly matched first round, I would not want to be a judge in this fight as I would have a very difficult job. One of the more significant points of the first round was the eye poke. Although unintentional, the uh, doctor is now looking at the left eye of Drew Davis. And round for the two. second time of a possible three, the cage door is locked and shut with only three men remaining inside. Right away, I noticed Drew Davis definitely looking to close that distance more. He's taken significantly deeper steps towards his opponent. Drew Davis lowering that uh, left hand just a little bit. He should be keeping it busy. Oh, Justin Drew Davis, Davis goes down. Oh. Justin Davis on top. This fight is nearly over. And, and referee Ed Colantes has called a stop to the action at the protest of Drew Davis. Justin Davis, your winner via TKO. Possibly an early stoppage. I personally think it was, and I'm sure, Kevin, you'll agree with me there. Yeah. Uh, the ref didn't give him enough time to recover. I mean... Very controversial indeed. And while controversial, we do not want to take away from the success of Justin Davis, who certainly has worked very hard to be where he is today and has earned a second round stoppage.
Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, 29 seconds in a round number two, will be a TKO. Referee stoppage due to strikes in the blue corner. Justin Shoff Davis. Justin Davis, your winner via TKO. And uh, you know what I love about this is uh, there were some boos from the crowd. Drew Davis telling his fans not to do that. One of the most respectful fighters you will ever see step into this or any yeah. cage. And good job for Justin Davis, game. too. Outstanding performance. And stylish, too, as well, wearing the pink shorts. I think it's an homage to Brett, the hitman heart. Hard to believe Justin Davis is 33 years old. You would not be able to tell he is any older than a 25 or 26 with the athleticism he